With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is suppose you have two forces f vector and f vector how would you combine them in order to have a resultant force of magnitude first is 0 second is 2f vector and the third is f vector now whenever we have two forces the resultant is given by root over a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta where a and b are the magnitude of two forces which we are combining and here r represents the magnitude of resultant force now when the two forces are same that is to say the magnitude is same then resultant come out comes out to be root over f square plus f square plus 2f square cos theta plus 2f square cos theta which means this can be written as f square times of 2f square times of 1 plus cos theta 2f square times of 1 plus cos theta this will be the resultant now in the first part we are we have to find out the angle theta in order to make the resultant 0 so for resultant to be 0 the value of cos theta should be equals to minus 1 so that resultant comes out to be 0 so for this cos theta should be equals to minus 1 this implies that theta should be equals to 180 degree now in the second part we are asked that resultant should be equals to 2 f square okay now for resultant to be 2 f square sorry 2 f for resultant to be 2 times of f vector for this to be 2 times of f vector this 1 plus cos theta should be equals to 2 because this f square will come out of root as f and this 2 should be multiplied with another 2 so that this 4 comes out as 2 okay for that 1 plus cos theta should be equals to 2 1 plus cos theta equals to 2 this implies that the value of cos theta should be equals to 1 and from here we get that the value of theta is 0 degree the value of theta is 0 degree okay now in the third case we are asked to find out that the resultant should be f vector only okay now for this particular resultant to be f vector only okay this 1 plus cos theta the value of 1 plus cos theta should be equals to 1 by 2 so 1 plus cos theta should be equals to 1 by 2 in order to make the resultant f vector only so from here I will be getting cos theta the value of cos theta as minus 1 by 2 this implies that the value of theta is so from here we will be getting the value of theta as 120 degree I hope you understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.